Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. How are you boys and girls? I hope you are in good health. Wherever you are, the learning process is very important. Let me introduce myself. I'm Azlawati binti Abdul Rahim from SK Desa Aman Sungai Buloh, Selangor. You can call me Cikgu Azila. With me today is Puan Katie Lee from SK Pendidikan Khas Jalan Pil who is our sign language interpreter. Today we are going to learn about science room rules for year 1. Before we start, please be ready with your book and stationery. Boys and girls, we have to do two things first. First, you must make sure you are listening carefully. Second, you must make sure you have your eyes wide open so you can see everything. Alright? Before we get started, let's take a look at the learning objectives for our lesson today. At the end of the lesson, you should adhere to science room rules. Okay, let's look at the picture. Are you familiar with this place in your school? Yes, it is the science room. A science room is an exciting place full of fun apparatus to conduct experiments and interesting lessons. However, there are rules that you have to adhere to. What are the pupils doing? They are carrying out an experiment in groups. One of them is doing the activity and the others are collecting data and helping each other. And the teacher looks happy because the learning process is happening smoothly. This can happen if the pupils follow the science room rules. So, what the science room rules, boys and girls? Let me tell you what they are. Number one, you have to line up before entering the science room. Lining up makes it easier for classes of pupils to pass one another in the hallway. For one thing, lining up helps to keep pupils from talking. Number two, ask for the teacher's permission before entering the science room. You cannot enter the science room if there is no teacher waiting for you inside. Let's take a look at the next rule. Number three, you are not allowed to play and run in the science room. This is to avoid any unwanted incidents. Number four, you must clean and tidy up the science room before leaving. This is important to ensure a conducive learning environment. Number five, do not eat and drink in the science room. This is to prevent you from getting food poisoning due to exposure to chemicals in the science room. Okay, now you have learned five science room rules. Let's understand why we must obey the rules. Look at this picture. What would happen if you obey the science room rules? Yes, the science room would be cleaner and tidier. You will learn better in a good and clean environment. Do you agree with me? Yes, of course you do. Now, Let's take a look at this picture. 
What would happen if you disobeyed the science room rules like running and playing with your friends and throwing rubbish into the sink? Good! You know the answer, don't you? The sink would be blocked if rubbish is thrown into it. And the science room would be dirty and dangerous for pupils to learn in. Boys and girls, can you guess what will happen if we obey the rules like lining up and asking for the teacher's permission before entering the room? Yes, learning can be carried out effectively. If you disobey the rules like playing and running in the science room, you could get into an accident and injure yourself. When you disobey the science room rules, learning cannot be carried out smoothly. Now, I believe that you have listened well to me. Are you ready for a quiz? Okay, good. I want you to look at the video after this and tell me whether the pupils in the picture are obeying the science room rules or not. Look at the first picture. The boys are running in the science room. Are they obeying the rules? Yes or no? Good! The answer is no. Next, we have pupils standing orderly side by side while looking at something in the aquarium. Do they obey the science room rules? Yes, they obey the science room rules. Then, we have a picture of someone throwing rubbish to his friend. I'm sure you know the answer. No, he is not obeying the science room rules. Yum yum! The picture shows pupils eating and drinking in the science room. Do they obey the rules? No. Boys and girls, do not do this in the science room, okay? Okay, next, we have a picture of pupils washing and cleaning the science apparatus. Do they obey the science room rules? The answer is yes. I like watching both of them doing that. Hmm, looks like a boy is arranging the stools and a girl is sweeping the floor. Do they obey the science room rules? Yes, excellent. Now, you can see pupils lining up before entering the science room. The boys line up on the left and the girls on the right. Do they obey the science room rules? Yes, surely the answer is yes. Oops! Next, we have a picture of pupils talking to each other and not standing in line outside the science room. You can answer this correctly. Do they obey the rules? The answer is no. They have disobeyed the rules. The last picture shows some science apparatus that have been left cluttered on the table. And it looks like the pupils want to leave. The answer is no. They have disobeyed the rules. Before we end our lesson, let us recall what we have learned today. 
Do you still remember the science room rules? Number one, line up before entering the science room. Number two, ask the teacher's permission before entering the science room. Number three, clean and tidy up the science room before leaving. Number four, playing and running in the science room are prohibited. And number five, eating and drinking in the science room are prohibited. Well, boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. I hope you will use what you have learned today in your daily life. Always obey the science room rules and be good pupils. Until we meet again, stay safe everyone. Assalamualaikum. Bye.